In this video I'd like to talk to you about two myths about potting soil and containers. What most people use in containers is some sort of potting mix that they've purchased. And that usually consists of either peat moss, uh, coconut husk, uh, which is also called core, or some sort of decomposed wood products. Now all of those work. There's nothing wrong with using any of them. They're really good for plants because plant roots like lots of air and all of these materials are very airy so the plants grow well, the roots grow well. The problem with that mix is that first of all you have to go out and buy it so there's an expense there. But the real problem with it is that it just dries out too fast. Because it's so airy, water leaves it very quickly. And so people are watering their containers daily. And when it gets hot in the middle of summer, people are coming out and watering this twice a day. The container I have here, I only water once a week. There's no reason to water more if you use the right kind of soil. So what I use in my containers is about 70% of my garden soil. And around here that has about 40% uh, clay. So it's a fair amount of clay in that mixture. And then I, I mix into that either some compost or some peat moss or something that I have to lighten it a little bit. So my mix is mostly garden soil and something else added to lighten a little bit. So first of all that reduces the cost because my garden soil is free but more importantly that clay material holds moisture and that's why I don't have to water so often. The other advantage of the clay is that it holds nutrients really well so I don't have to fertilize as much either. And the fertilizing and water kind of go hand in hand. If you're watering a lot in a traditional mix, you're washing the nutrients out the bottom, so you have to fertilize a lot. My nutrients stay in the clay. I'm not washing it away as quickly, and therefore I don't have to fertilize as much. In my containers, I usually sprinkle some slow-release fertilizer in in the spring, and that's good for the year. The second myth I'd like to talk about is the one that says that this, this light potting mix that you're using, it has to be replaced every year. For some reason, people have got the idea that soil gets old, and that's simply not true. Now, whether you use my mix with garden soil in it or you're using some bag material that you've purchased, it doesn't really matter. That material is not getting old. The organic portion of it slowly decomposes, releasing nutrients for your plants to use, and so you do have less every year, and you have a bit of compaction as it settles, so you come back here the following year and you go, oh geez, I'm down four inches, so you have to add a little bit more to it, but the material that's in there is not old. You can use that year after year after year. This pot's been sitting here for four to five years, and I've never replaced the soil and I've no intention of replacing it. It's good for another 10 years. There's absolutely no reason you have to replace your soil unless you have some unusual disease problems. You know, if you have some sort of root problem and you have a fungus in here that's destroying your plants, well, then you might have a reason for replacing it. But other than that, just leave it. In the spring, come along, top it up a little bit with some more peat moss, use some compost, put it on top. You don't even have to dig it in. In fact, this container has a clematis in here that's a perennial, and it's been in here since I made the pot. So I don't want to do a lot of digging because I'll damage the roots. In front here, I have some annuals, and during the winter they've died off. So what I'll do is I just take these and pull them out, shake the soil off, discard that, put in a little new compost because it's settled a little bit and I'm ready to plant. In fact even better than pulling it out the way I just did is just to cut the top off. So the ideal way to do this is this. Leave the roots in here because the roots will slowly decay and add more uh, organic material to the container and feed the plants and you're not disturbing the soil so any soil organisms in there aren't being harmed and then I just plant. Stop buying new soil 
use some of your garden soil, reduce the amount of watering you're doing, all of that is better for the environment. Happy gardening! If you enjoyed this video, you'll also like my book called Garden Myths. In it, I look at common gardening advice and determine if it is really true. I cover such topics as, does beer really kill slugs? Can you use vinegar to get rid of weeds? And will citronella plants keep mosquitoes away? If you are interested in this book, the best place to get it is Amazon.